Hey Divas! In today's video, we're diving deep into the exciting world of music production, especially for beginners. Now, I know there is a lot of information on this topic, but you know, on my channel here, I like to keep things simple, basic, easy, and break it all down for you. So whether you're a bedroom producer or just getting started, this video is here to help guide you along. The singing diva at your service. So first things first, setting up your workspace. You don't need a fancy studio when you're first starting out and playing around with music production. A computer, some headphones, and a little bit of software are all you really need to get started along your music production journey. You want to create an ambience of a really inspiring sort of environment. Something that's going to feel comfortable and practical as well. Now let's talk software. We have to talk about the software. There are plenty options out there from professional to free to really beginner grade software. For beginners, I recommend starting out with something that is very easy, very beginner friendly to get yourself sort of accustomed to using this type of software in the first place. So you'll want to check up some reviews, play around with different apps and different software and see what feels comfortable for you what comes easy when you are learning or maybe there is a particular type of software that you've tried where it just vibes well with you you'd like to stick with that one and learn how to use it learn the process you will find that most software for music production has a gentle learning curve there are things you're not going to be familiar with if it's the first time you're using it and so you're going to have to learn your way and figure it out but you should be able to pick it up pretty quickly if it's something user friendly and you're doing something that you enjoy you could start off with just the basics and then as you go along take time to explore the different features of whichever software you choose. So most definitely, if you've never used one before, you are going to have to learn some new skills on the program. But with the technology we have today, most of these editing and music production softwares have a really amazing features, really powerful features that you could use to amplify and create the most amazing music music sounding perfect to your ears next up we need to understand some of the basic terminology this is where google is your best friend so before we dive into the creative process let's talk about some of these basic terms so you will want to learn about and familiarize yourself with certain basic terms words like tracks beats bars and tempo understanding these sort of terms are going to make it much easier for you you will be able to communicate and navigate your music software a lot easier so now you'll want to make some beats let's talk about creating your beats and rhythms you want to start out with drum patterns and rhythms most music genres you will find have very distinct beats so look for the ones that you enjoy the most and that resonate with you the most don't be afraid to experiment and tweak until you find the kind of beat that you really like that you enjoy remember this is supposed to be fun so don't take the fun aspect out by becoming too technical about every little detail you want to enjoy the process and have fun especially while you are in the learning phase now if you are enjoying this video so far go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and 
If you're really enjoying the kind of content we're doing here, and you're really vibing with our singing diva fam jam, go ahead and turn on the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss an upcoming video. Next, you want to be adding in melodies and effects. So here you could use virtual instruments or you could synthesize your own sounds. You want to really experiment with different melodies and different harmonies. Even different effects can help give your track some kind of uniqueness, some kind of depth and character to make it stand out. Remember, there are no strict rules. You want to go ahead and just let your creativity shine. Now, if you are a singer, aspiring vocalist, maybe you just like singing for fun in the shower. Here you have an opportunity for a double whammy. If you are going to be playing around with music production and you want to add in some of your own vocals, or maybe you even have a friend that's a singer or just enjoy singing. Maybe you like the sound of their voice. Go ahead and try experimenting with putting those vocals in with the track that you've worked on. This can be so much fun in the creative process. Just have a ball with it and laugh off any mistakes. Where you hear that your stuff sounds terrible, just have a laugh and keep on going. You will find as time goes on, and like with anything else, lots and lots of practice. Before you know it, you will be making some awesome jams. I hope you enjoy this little beginner-friendly sort of guide to help kickstart your music production journey. In the comment section, I would love for you to share some of your own experiences with music production. Have you maybe tried working with some different beats? Is there a particular software that you would love to recommend to people? Or maybe are you an aspiring singer and you have done some things with your voice in different tracks? Let us know what were your experiences and we can all share together, maybe have a laugh, maybe learn from each other as well. Now, if you would like to go even further, in your singing journey, check out the brilliant course that I have put together for you. It's called Learn How to Sing, Vocal Training, and it takes you through all the way from beginner to intermediate and then to advanced level vocal training. So no matter which level of vocal ability you may be at, you will benefit. You can really transform your vocals and build your self-esteem. Details in the description box below. And that is it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out, my beautiful divas. Always a pleasure. Now, I was recently interviewed on another YouTube channel. And in my next video, I am going to be sharing some of that footage with you. One of my very first interviews. As always, we will be talking about all things vocal, as well as some of my personal experiences. So do join me in that next video. And until then, my beautiful divas, stay awesome.